who lured me, I would say that. I didn't want to fucking go there. Good evening, folks. I am Arashi Neko. Uh, I'm a little kind of mad at the subject matter tonight. Um, basically, about the question of being lured. A lot of the perp- the predators said that they were lured by the decoys, or that they were uh, talked into coming. Well, like Lauren said, he doesn't mean to go there. He didn't want to do it. That is absolutely asinine. The perpetrators, the predators, they started out by talking about sex, usually very disgusting acts, with someone that identified themselves as a 12-year-old, a 13-year-old, or a 14-year-old. And I guess if you kept it to the confines of a chat room, that would be one thing. Second of all, they then sent pictures of their dicks or pictures of pornography or pictures of child pornography to someone that identified themselves as being underage, 12, 13 years old. And now, once again, you might be able to say unconvincingly that, well, I thought that was an adult I was talking to. I thought we were in a role-playing chat room. But they, they really, they, the icing on the cake for every one of these perpetrators was they showed up to the house. They showed up to the house, they waltzed right in to where they thought a 13-year-old boy or girl was home alone, uh, you know, with the full intention of having sex with them. Sometimes they brought condoms, sometimes they brought uh, KY jelly, razors, you know, sick shit like that. And um, that is absolutely ridiculous. It's the kind of desperate thing someone would say when they have nothing left to say. And uh, unfortunately, with our legal system being the way it is, a defense attorney could claim entrapment. Uh, I guess the only thing the the, uh, predators had to say was I was lured. In other words, I didn't want to come. I wouldn't have come. But they talked me into it. You can't talk somebody into murder, because if they do, you're still guilty of murder. If somebody talks you into buying a whole bunch of drugs or robbing a jewelry store, you still did it. We're adults. Unlike what the decoys were pretending to be, you can't say that you were talked into doing something, certainly not as heinous, as something like having sex with an underage person. Now... One of the definitions, and I'm paraphrasing, I'm not reading this out of a dictionary, but one of the definitions of entrapment is convincing or talking somebody into something that they normally wouldn't do. Um, You're not going to talk somebody who is not a criminal into committing a criminal act. But that's what these predators are saying happened. It's like, I guess they just got up that day and they were just in a, um, a uh, uh, an influ- uh, they, their state of mind was they were just e- easily influenced that day and they got talked into doing something they normally wouldn't do. Many of them say, oh, I, I, I really wouldn't have done that. I came here with no intentions of having sex, even though I talked about sex. I brought uh, physical aids for the sexual act, but I wasn't going to have sex. It, it, it's just asinine. And uh, so many of the uh, predators say this. And again, I think it's just something that you say when you have nothing left to say. It's absolutely ridiculous and it's not believable. So anyway, that's uh, just a brief one tonight. That's all I have to say about that. Um, This is Arashineko signing out.